If you want to include diagrams in a presentation, Microsoft PowerPoint includes a number of built-in options called SmartArt that will save you the time and effort of drawing each diagram component individually. You can open the SmartArt menu two ways. First, if you are in a blank slide, click on the Insert tab in the top navigation menu and select the SmartArt button in the Illustrations group. This will open the menu of SmartArt options, which includes built-in diagrams for lists, processes, cycles, hierarchies, relationships, matrices, and pyramids. I'll go ahead and select the Hierarchy option here, and I'm going to choose an organizational chart. Another way to access this menu is by inserting a new slide into your presentation that includes a content placeholder. A content placeholder is a built-in box where you can add text or select one of the icons to insert a graphic like a picture or chart or a media file. When you're in the Home tab in the Normal view, simply click the option for New Slide in the Slides group and select one of the layouts with a content placeholder. Then click on the icon for SmartArt inside of the placeholder to open the SmartArt menu. Whichever way you get there, you're going to see the menu prompting you to choose a SmartArt graphic. So first you can narrow it down to what type of graphic you want. I'm going to go with a cycle chart this time. And then select the variant that's closest to what you want to create. I'll stick with a basic cycle. Now as soon as you select your graphic, two things will happen. First you'll see that the top ribbon automatically opened to the SmartArt Tools, which has a tab for Design and one for Format. The SmartArt Tools Design tab lets you add or reorganize shapes within a graphic, change the layout, colors and styles, or reset the graphic back to its default state. The SmartArt Tools Format tab lets you change or resize shapes, apply shape styles, format the text, and arrange the graphics. The other thing you'll notice is that PowerPoint automatically opens a text pane where you can enter the text that will appear in each of the shapes. To enter text, you can either place the cursor inside the shape and start typing, in which case the text will appear in the text pane to the left, or vice versa, put the cursor in the text pane and type, and your text will appear in the appropriate shape. Don't worry about selecting the font size right now. PowerPoint will automatically resize the text to fit within the shape as you type. When you're done entering your text, you can just place the cursor in the next shape or click out of the shape into your graphics box. Something to note is that if you're adding your text in the text pane, you need to use your cursor to move to the next line, which will allow you to enter text in the next shape in your graphic. If you hit Enter instead, you'll actually insert another shape into your design. Another way that you can add a shape is to highlight one of the shapes you have, and in the SmartArt Tools Design tab, select the button to add shape. And there's my new shape. If there's a shape that you don't need, you can also just highlight that shape and press Delete. Something else you can do is jazz up the design of the shapes themselves. For example, you can add light effects or a three-dimensional effect by choosing one of the options in the SmartArt Styles group, which is up in the top navigation under the SmartArt Tools Design tab. You can also play with the colors. Just click on the button in the top navigation for colors. I'm still in the Design tab for the SmartArt Tools, and open the pull-down menu. Then you can move your cursor over each of the color schemes to preview what it will look like in your slide. When you select a new color scheme, the changes will apply to the entire SmartArt graphic, even if you've only highlighted one shape. If you decide that you don't like the design changes that you made, you can always select the button to reset graphic, and PowerPoint will discard all of the formatting changes you made and reinstate the default settings. If you select the Format tab in the SmartArt Tools section, you can see even more options to customize the individual shapes in your graphic. You can work with one shape at a time or several at once. For example, back here in my first slide, I can highlight all of the shapes in one tier of my organizational chart by holding down the Shift key as I click on each one. Then up in the top navigation, I can change up some of the formatting elements. Here in the Shapes group on the left, I'm going to open the menu to Change Shape and turn these rectangles into ovals. And you can see the change there in my slide. I'm also going to move over one group into Shape Styles in the top ribbon and change the fill color for the shapes I've selected. I'll just click on Shape Fill and then choose one of the colors from the drop-down menu. In the Shape Styles group, you can also change the outline style and color for your shapes as well as the shape's effect. And then you'll see other formatting options in the top navigation to adjust the text formatting as well as the size and placement of your graphic.
With the various design and formatting options in the Smart Art Tools section, you can really customize your graphics and make sure they work seamlessly with the rest of your presentation.